Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you want to enjoy this video and want more content like this, then feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get straight into the video. Number 1. Food of the Gods An exploration of humans' symbiotic relationships with plants and chemicals presents information on prehistoric partnership societies, the roles of spices and spirits in the rise of dominator societies, and the politics of tobacco, tea, coffee, opium, and alcohol. In Food of the Gods Ethnobotanist, Terence McKenna's research on a man's ancient relationship with chemicals opens a doorway to the divine, and perhaps a solution for saving our troubled world. McKenna provides a revisionist look at the historical role of drugs in the East and the West, from ancient spice, sugar and rum trades to marijuana, cocaine, synthetics and even a television, illustrating the human desire for the food of the gods and the powerful potential to replace abuse of illegal drugs with a shamanic understanding, insistence on community, reverence for nature and increased self-awareness. At number 2 we've got Coyote America. This is a New York Times best-selling account of how coyotes, long the target of an extermination policy, spread to every corner of the United States. Legends don't come close to capturing the incredible story of the coyote in the face of centuries of campaigns of annihilation employing gases, helicopters and engineered epidemics. Coyotes didn't just survive, they thrived, expanding across the continent from Alaska to New York. In the war between humans and coyotes, coyotes have won hands down. Coyote America is the illuminating 5 million year biography of this extraordinary animal, from its origins to its apothesis. It is one of the great epics of our time. Number 3. Best Evidence Arguing that the evidence relied upon by the Warren Commission and the House of Assassinations Committee was faked, Lifton describes how the cover-up plot worked and explained the numerous conflicts in the record. At number 4, Going Clear, we meet founder L. Ron Hubbard, the highly imaginative but mentally troubled science fiction writer and his tough, driven successor, David Miscavige. We go inside their specialized cosmology and language. We learn about the church's legal attacks on the IRS, its vindictive treatment of critics, and its phenomenal wealth. We see the church court celebrities such as Tom Cruise while consigning its clergy to hard labor under billion year contracts. Through it all, Wright asks what fundamentally comprises a religion, and if Scientology in fact merits the constitutionally protected label. Brilliantly researched, compellingly written, Going Clear pulls back the curtain on one of the most secretive organizations at work today. Number 5. Fingerprints of the Gods At number 6, Tribe. Combining history, psychology, and anthropology, Tribe explores what we can learn from tribal societies about loyalty, belonging, and the eternal human quest for meaning. It explains the irony that for many veterans, as well as civilians, war feels better than peace. Adversity can turn out to be a blessing, and disasters are sometimes remembered more fondly than weddings or tropical vacations. Tribe explains why we are stronger when we come together and how that can be achieved even in today's divided world. Number 7. The War of Art The art of war meets the artist's way in this no-nonsense, profoundly inspiring guide to overcoming creative blocks of every kind. It is an engaging and practical guide for succeeding in any creative sphere. The War of Art is nothing less than Sun Tzu for the soul. The book will only answer questions like, why is there a naysayer within, how can we avoid roadblocks of any creative endeavor, be it starting up a dream business venture, writing a novel, or painting a masterpiece. Best-selling novelist Stephen Pressfield identifies the enemy that every one of us must face, outlines a battle plan to conquer this internal foe, then pinpoints just how to achieve the greatest success. The War of Art emphasizes the resolve needed to recognize and overcome the obstacles of ambition and then effectively shows how to reach the highest level of creative discipline. Think of it as tough love for yourself. Whether an artist, a writer or business person, this simple, personal and no-nonsense book will inspire you to seize the potential of your life. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more. If you've read any of these books or do go on to read them, then come back and let us know what you thought of them in the comments down below. Goodbye for now and we'll see you next time.